Hi, I'm Dave Wolak, and I want to tell you about some of the great flipping and pitching baits from Yum. The Craw Pappy, the Woolly Hog Craw, the Woolly Bug, and the Woolly Hog Tail. The Craw Pappy is probably my most versatile bait in the Yum lineup. I use it on the back of jigs, I pitch it on the Texas rig around sparse cover, wood, docks, even on rock. But this is my number one bait. When I see a bed fish, this is what will go on every bed fish I see across the whole country, first presentation. Texas rig, about a quarter ounce weight, non-pegged, and that's what I usually catch them on. The Woolly Hog Craw is another versatile bait. What I try to do is try to find a little bit of a difference between this bait, the Woolly Hog Craw, and the Woolly Hog Tail, and that's the tails. The, the flat appendages, the craw type trailers, have a little bit less action and I use them in colder water situations, but the ribbed body is important. I could pitch mats, I could pitch any kind of grass or bushes, and that ribbed body kind of makes some noise when it's slithering through that stuff. So I pitch it anything from a, a heavy weight in bushes to sparse grass, just letting it kind of slither through that, that sparse grass, but most importantly in colder water situations when the water is about 65 degrees or less. And then I go to the woolly hog tail if it's 65 degrees or more. The woolly bug is my number one pitching and flipping matted grass bait. If I have matted milfoil, matted hydrilla, even if I have super dense slop mats, this is my number one bait. The rib body makes some noise going through there. It's a nice sleek profile. It slithers through there nice. Looks like a crawfish. Cold water situations, warm water situations, it doesn't matter. If I have matted grass, I'm pitching this from a one ounce weight to a quarter ounce weight. This is my number one deal. The woolly hog tail I use in summer type situations, water temperature of high 60s to 80 to 90 degrees. These sleek, slender, curly tails, anytime you have appendages like this, they have a lot of action. And you're pitching it around sparse cover, grass, docks, no matter what. Usually it's a slower fall deal. I, I do catch fish on spawning beds with it, but most importantly it's a, it's a grass bait and, and a bushes bait. It's something that you're going to pitch and want it to slowly fall for a fish that's suspended under a piece of cover. I keep my rigging for pitching and flipping pretty simple. I use either a big weight if I'm flipping matted vegetation or a really light weight if I'm flipping around more sparse cover. One thing that I do I feel that's important is I go to a straight shank hook when I'm fishing around heavy matted vegetation or heavy bushes. Um, I get a little bit better hook set and a little bit better penetration with that straight shank.